What is up, guys? Today is a very exciting day because we are jumping into the quarry. Now, I'm really stoked for this because I had such a blast with Until Dawn, which was my first experience with choice-based games. And this game was highly recommended to me uh, through that playthrough. So I'm looking forward to seeing what this is all about. I do plan to play more choice-based games in the future. I do own all of the Dark Pictures Anthology games as well as Detroit Become Human and a couple of other games. I forgot what they're called. But yes, I do plan to play them in the future. If you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Sage and I'm a variety gamer. It's so great to have you here. Now, for those of you that don't know, I am a huge horror and thriller fan. <laughs> I have basically been watching horror since I was a kid. I love reading thriller books. I love listening to like true crime documentaries and podcasts so i one of the reasons i really enjoyed until dawn was collecting all of the clues and kind of figuring the story out because that's one of my favorite things to do <laughs> especially with thrillers i love figuring things out and kind of coming up with theories and stuff so yes i will be doing a ton of that <laughs> in this game just to figure out what this is all about so just a side note, uh, because it was brought up a few times during my Until Dawn playthrough, but I don't get scared often with jump scares. Um, I guess since I have watched horror for most of my life, uh, honestly, I don't get scared with horror films. And rarely do I get scared with jump scares in films. Uh, now with gaming, I do get scared scared more with games it does happen occasionally okay <laughs> but please do not be surprised if i don't get scared with any jump scares uh i cannot fake being scared so i apologize if you are hoping for more of that reaction so yes that is a little side note for you guys that are new so yes i hope you guys enjoy my playthrough and let's get into it Right. Yeah, I like the menu. I'm digging the old school computer and uh, VHS player. Packets. Ooh, I like the little videotape in the corner. The save symbol. <gasps> the moon. You guys, I'm obsessed with the moon. So if I see it in a game, I have to acknowledge it. <laughs> Ooh, I like the song. Uh, another creature in the woods. <laughs> oh, Brenda's song! I wonder if I'm like a supernatural creature again. Especially if I'm moving that quickly. Why'd you kill the music? I think you know why. Um, <laughs> I don't think I do. I have no service in L. Like the L word. Lesbians. 
lost, Max. We're lost. We're just, we're in <laughs> geographic flux. Right. Lesbians. So, lost. That's debatable. <laughs> I was like, what? The change of a... Uh... Take a moment to consider the following, as it will guide you through mm. the various twists and turns mm. that may appear during your stay at Hackett's Quarry. What you see here are quick time events, or QTEs, which will help you to act at just the right time. Watch your step. Hackett's Quarry can be a dangerous place if you're not paying attention to your <laughs> I like this. Take your eye off the ball, and it could spell disaster. The path you tread is yours to choose, but that doesn't mean there won't be any obstacles along the way. Oh, heads up. Yeah, honey, Ooh. nice cat. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Man, the roads are definitely getting worse out here. I guess it's all part of the rustic summer camp experience. Oh, right, that's where we're going. I lost track like 200 miles ago. 200 miles ago, huh? Yeah. You know what, Max, it's okay. It doesn't make you any less of a man. You know, if Columbus hadn't gotten lost and landed on these golden shores, there would be no United States of America. Goodbye, hot dogs. See you later, apple pie. Columbus never actually landed in North America. Dude what thought he was at the Indies. Didn't even know he wasn't in Asia. Are you serious? <laughs> just another guy who didn't want to admit he was lost. Well, just another guy who's got a whole day named after him, so put that in your pipe and smoke it. Undeserved okay, too. Get us to camp already before I roll my eyes out of my head, please. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. No, I think we need a map. <laughs> Voila! <laughs> what is it? We are lost. Yeah, yeah. No, but seriously, how what happened to the, the normal map? This is the normal map. The one on the phone. Dude, eyes on the road! No bars. Of course not. Well, he looks sleepy. <laughs> See, so we are... Well, I guess they don't put summer camps on maps. Eyes on the road, dude! Do you see any signs for it? Oh my gosh! <gasps> hey, eyes on the road! Whoa. I cannot tell what that was. Stop the car! Is this like a ghost story? Who's that spirit? <laughs> Woman. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I mean, still in one piece. Jesus Christ, what do you think that was? A bear? What? No, no, Max, it wasn't a bear. What was it? I don't know. It was a person. Oh, are you serious? They were just Is hunched over? Person? Uh, I don't think you guys I know. hit. I mean, it was really cl close, like really close, but maybe we didn't. See, kids, that's why you keep your eyes on the road. Especially if you're in the middle of the what night. If they're around mountains and stuff, switch I really back. This car up. Crazy. Well, maybe it looks worse than it is. Uh, I should check out the damage before we try to start it up again, huh? Could you grab my, uh, the, the toolbox from the trunk? Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's go talk to him first. Ooh, wait. No, 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 no. Wait. It's not so bad. My mom's Having concerned. trouble controlling. Okay, I'll just leave you to it. He said in the trunk, right?
What is that? L1? Interrupts? At certain times throughout the night, opportunities will present themselves, giving you the chance to take matters into your own hands. It is worth noting that they are only suggestions. You don't have to act upon them. In fact, sometimes it's better not to. Ah, I'm not going to snoop. Oh, because there's a letter? I'm not going to do that. Thanks, huh? Yeah. Do you need a hand? Yeah, actually, if you could just shine a light right here. There you go. Perfect, thank you. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Just picture yourself curling up in front of a big old fire pit singing campfire sing-alongs. I don't think people curl up right in front of big old fire pits. Why not? It'd be hot. Uh, they don't want to catch on fire. And then, picture yourself going up in front of a big old space heater. There's not anywhere is better than here. There's always someone spying on us <laughs> in the woods, isn't there? Wait, where am I supposed to go? Wait, where am I supposed to go? Oh, okay. Oh no, Grandma! What are you doing out in the... What are you doing out in the woods? Is that the, the same woman that was in the car? Where are you going? Just over here. Just stay there for a second, okay? I'm almost done. Are you my boss? <laughs> Can you imagine? Are you my boss? God, Max, hurry up! What's going on? I'm worried that there's somebody down there. Are you serious? Yeah, they could be hurt. I don't know. I didn't think we actually hit anyone. Well, I don't know. I just, I heard something, okay? Like a, a woman. Do you think we hit her? I just want to check it out. Okay. All right. Just don't go too far, okay? Be yeah, careful. Yeah. You're crazy <laughs> to go out, walk around in the woods at night. You're crazy. Why would you do that? I would at least wait for him okay. to finish. Good luck with the car. Oh, see, I don't like this one. It gives me several options of where to go. What is this? What is this? Harem Scarum poster. This is the poster for a traveling sideshow. It looks like it's been here a while, left forgotten in the woods. All those burn marks around the edges. Ooh. Hold on. Was there anything on this side? Aha. Uh -huh. <gasps> Tarot? The fool. I wonder who this is. We all know a fool when we've seen one. When we see one, don't we? Innocence and freedom, or recklessness and risk-taking. Spontaneity, actions without thought, the consequences to match. Think, think and don't get burnt. Ooh, so we're gonna have the whole, uh, Major Arcana. Sweet! Sweet! I have my own collection of, uh, tarot cards. 
I love it. Okay, for those of you that are new, I am someone that likes to uh, explore, explore everything. <laughs> so I will spend a lot of time going around looking for clues and stuff. Because I like to collect. Escapology trunk. A trunk filled with strange devices that, that of an escapologist, perhaps a relic of a traveling show that must have passed through the area. Ooh, is this like a circus? Circus. You guys, I used to want to be in a circus <laughs> when I was younger. Uh, I used to do contortion. So I was really flexible and I wanted to be in Cirque du Soleil. It was my favorite circus. Can I go here? Wait, or do- What is this? What the hell? Broken cage. Oh! Sorry. This decrepit cage has been engulfed by the woods over time. It looks like an animal has nested here. This dog boy. Silas the dog boy? Part of the sideshow? The this dog too boy. Weird. I can't go in. Silas the dog boy. So... Oh no! Oh, that's creepy. Wait, where do I go? Can I go here? No. Okay. 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 So, I think I already have my first theory. <laughs> oh! Wait! There was something, wasn't there? Take a breath. It's okay. It's the woods. There's a lot of stuff out there. There's animals. It's easy to freak yourself out. No. And someone spoke in your Can we just leave? Please? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Ooh, ooh, is that the woman in the car? It's creepy. You all right? 
Did you get yes, there we go. Okay. Burn like a kid. Max, come on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Oh no. Give me. Oh no. Max! I just okay, give me a minute. Give me a minute. We've got to go, Max. Laura, man. you're not helping right now. Can you just I am trying to get us out of here. Alright, just... enough! Shit, I'm sorry. I am trying to get us out of here. I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. Well he's he's nice. He's kind. We're okay. We're safe in the car, really. We're gonna be okay. Oh, oh. Jesus. oh. oh. Oh my god, my heart just exploded. Roll it down. <laughs> oh my god, my heart just Hi, exploded. Officer. How are you doing this evening? Are either of you injured? Really, we're fine. We're just a little shaken up. Of course, we have to have the creepy character. Kind of like the analyst, right? Well, you folks want to tell me what happened here? Wait, hold on. Path chosen. Hackett's quarry is full of twists and turns, unknown paths and unexplored wonders. With each step taken, you tread a path of your own, matched with its very own consequences. There will be moments throughout your stay that show you that the choices you've made, the path you've chosen, could have gone another way. I didn't way. know a bear could do that. At Hackett's Quarry, <laughs> there's no such thing as the wrong way. But be warned, some paths are more dangerous than others. <laughs> the butterfly. Okay. 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 Yo. Um. Let's be honest, because there's nothing to hide. We, um, uh, something jumped out right in front of the car and we didn't want to hit it, so we swerved and, you know, here we are. Something jumped out? An animal? Well, we don't even know what it was. Uh, I'm sorry, exactly. it, was, it was so dark and it happened so fast and they were gone. They? Ma'am, did you hit someone? No, no, God, no, of course not. You know, I mean, I don't think so. Of course, the way you're saying it makes you sound suspicious. Sir? Get the car running. Sir? The cop seems anxious. Why? Is this I didn't do life? anything. Oh, I'm scary as cop. I don't know. This is my first cop. What, like ever? Uh, yeah, I'm not a criminal. Ah! Criminal. Oh my gosh, I might have to cut this short. Now you folks want to tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night. Taking in the sights, we're heading to camp. Friendly. We're heading up to Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. We're new counselors. You're one night early. No, no, we know. How does um, he know? But we figured we'd get in early and scope it out, you know? I mean, they know we're coming. We called ahead. Wait, how- and To be honest, sir, one of us kind of oversold their navigation skills and got us completely lost. <sighs> oh, why is he- why? You're it's not gonna so make creepy. it to Haggard's Quarry. Not tonight. Harbinger Motel. It's the nearest place you can bunk up there for the night, okay? Uh, I think we're just gonna stick to the plan, sir. I mean, Mr. Hackett knows we're coming and we called ahead. No, ma'am, you're gonna head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand? Ooh. <laughs> uh, let's stay on his good side. I feel like he's in on it. Okay. Whatever it Fine. is. Yeah, we'll head to the motel. Understood. He knows something. Uh, there's just one small problem. Uh, 
I forgot to spring for the middle of nowhere coverage plan on my phone. What he means is we're lost completely. All right, ma'am. Step out of the vehicle. Wait, what? Um, I just want to show you how to get to the motel on your map there. Why can't you show okay. it him? For sure. I don't get it. Son, remain in the vehicle. Oh my gosh, he's escalating the situation. Okay. <laughs> I've been compliant and honest this whole time. Okay. So, we... are right about here. Harbinger Motel is here. Can you right. see? Okay, and where was talking to Corey again? <laughs> well, I'm sure the fine folks at the Harbinger Motel can guide you there. Mm-hmm. First thing in the morning. He's withholding information. You see that? <laughs> Her face. <laughs> okay, he... You know in those horror films where... The cops are kind of behind whatever's going Harbinger on? Harbinger Motel. Stay on the road. Wait, but, but what if there's someone out there? Yeah, I'll have a look. Good night. Yeah, in a... Like, if the... Whatever's happening, the, the cops are either in on it, or... They know what's going on. So, he's telling them not to go... To go to the camp. Because something is going on and he knows Why it. Why is this guy just sitting there? It's creepy. Yeah, because you know in the... Sometimes in the horror films, like when the victims finally escape and then they find a cop thinking that the cop is going to help them and then the cop ends up bringing them back. <laughs> that's, what I'm, that's what I'm thinking is with this dude. It's giving me major weirdo The dude needed like at least a dozen showers. Oh my god, I know. What was up with the thing? I Did you see was, that? Was it blood? Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. Of course we're not going to the motel though. But do they know how to get there? All right, let's get back on the road. Yes. I think I've had enough woodland encounters for one night. Thank you very much. Agreed. So where's this motel? Okay, so we're here, mm -hmm. and the motel is here. Okay. But we're going here. What's there? Yeah. Hackett's quarry. How'd you do that? I don't know. I kind of tricked him into showing me. <laughs> Very slick. <laughs> Are you sure we shouldn't just get to the motel and just listen to this guy's advice? Honey, you really want to listen to the advice of some creep-ass cop who told us in the middle of the creep-ass woods to go to some creep-ass hotel? No, that sounds terrible. Yeah. Let's hit the road, shall we? That's what I thought. Ma'am. Oh my god! If he called me ma'am one more time, I was gonna shove that badge up his dick. Right? <laughs> Seriously, do I look like a ma'am to you? I got like 20 years before I'm a ma'am. Mm-hmm. What? I... 20's... debatable. Easy. I mean, I'm kinda into ma'ams. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the cop knows something about the camp. <laughs> Something's you going to happen. Kidding. There's nobody here. We drive all the way the fuck out Max, here. Max, can we just look around before we jump to conclusions? Did you actually even talk to Mr. Hackett or did you just leave a message? Well, what's the difference? This, this is the difference. So it's locked. Hello? I guess he doesn't check his voicemail. How was I supposed to know that? I mean, clearly there's somebody here. Yeah, or it's just an abandoned car and this is a complete waste Why of time. Why would there be an abandoned... I'll yeah. be at the car. Max, come on. Max, don't be a dick. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. It's not being a dick. I mean, you should have made sure that they would leave it open. Locations. Oh! Look for another way into the lodge. Built as a central hub of Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, the lodge is where campers congregate for meals, lessons, and indoor activities. It's also home to our nurse's station, just in case of any unlikely bumps and bruises. Paths. Oh, did I miss one? You'll never take me alive. A shot in the dark could come back to haunt you with the long arm of the law ever extending whether it holds a gun or an olive branch at the end is up to you. All right, guys, I am back. <laughs> Sorry, it's been such a crazy week, so I had to make things short last time. But I'm back. Is anybody home? Obviously not. So I did have to rewatch my first video because it's been a week <laughs> since I recorded. Yes, I have some thoughts already. First of all, I think Max is a great boyfriend. <laughs> He's so kind. Com communicates very well. Very considerate. Oh, wow. Wonder, is there anyone inside? <laughs> okay. So, I guess we go down here. Oh, are we supposed to go through those yellow doors? I think we are. It's highlighted. <laughs> but I see something here. That's a big... A big camp. What doesn't kill you... Fun. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Is that the music in the car? Okay. <laughs> Lord, there's no one here. Come on. Just give me one more minute, okay? First of all, Laura, you're crazy. She goes into the woods by herself. What is this? Hey, you ready to roll? <sighs> now she's just snooping around here. Okay, okay, door. <laughs> I see you. Someone naked. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get some help. Max! Max, get over here! What's going 
There's somebody in the bunker. I think they might be stuck. Stuck? Is it Mr. Hackett? I, I don't know. Just bring some tools so we can break the lock. No. Hey, I'm back. We're gonna get you out of there. No, no, no. That's not a good idea. <laughs> we don't what, need to do you, that. I don't know. You just said tools. Why didn't you just bring... Look, there's someone in there. Uh, I'm not seeing anyone. What? No, look. I'm looking. I am. There, there was definitely someone there. No, no, no. Okay, okay, so... See, the difference here is that whoever was in there didn't sound distressed and wasn't yelling out for help or anything. Right? It just snuck to the side and that was it. Crazy. Take hammer. Ah, uh, I'm gonna take the wrench because I think the hammer might be too loud. You sure? I don't know. <laughs> um, hammer time. <laughs> yeah, I saw it online. Yeah, saw it online. Damn. Oh, it actually worked? What? <laughs> Even I was ex I was surprised. <laughs> yeah, see, you gotta go looking for whoever is down there. <laughs> Evil Dead. Hello? Are you hurt? Do you exist? <laughs> Do you exist? <laughs> I, I like him. Hey, be careful. Oh, he's gonna chill out. He's like, yeah, girl. I don't know what you saw, but this is on you. Ian? Hold on, can I look around first? Bloodied collar. This bloodied collar looks to be too big for a dog. Uh, what kind of a dog would be called Ian anyway? I mean, people name pets all different kinds of things. I think Ian is pretty normal. Uh, but. Huh. So I did say last time that I already had a theory. So, I'm thinking that this has to do with uh, werewolves because first we have the full moon and then when Laura was walking in the woods, I remembered hearing a uh, wolf's howl and then we saw that clue about Silas, the dog boy. So, dog boy, I don't know. That right there kind of screams werewolf. Uh, we have this bloody collar that is too big for a dog. And I'm guessing we're, when they say what kind of a dog would be called Ian, maybe it's a, <laughs> a boy that turned into a werewolf. Um, and then also the cop, I remembered, the cop was just acting really weird, right? So 
I'm sure he knows that something is going on here and he didn't want them to come. Uh, so even though he was acting kind of weird, I think he was trying to protect these two from whatever is here. And then also, <laughs> whoever's in the bunker, right? The bunker's uh, locked up. And we know from werewolf films that whenever there's a full moon, uh, they lock themselves up so that they don't go attacking people, right? So I feel like whatever is in there right now is meant to stay in there. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's werewolves. Are those question marks supposed to be, like, updates? I don't know. <gasps> oh, you see? Whatever was down there Max? was eating that. Oh, no! <gasps> Someone's gonna get attacked! Oh man, oh man. Hun, maybe it was a possum or something. No, there was there was someone here, I swear. Hey. It's been kind of a night, you know? Let's just get to the motel. We can come back here first thing in the morning, we can check everything out, but I mean you must be exhausted. I, I swear the I cop am. comes by now. I think our imagination. <laughs> Oh, girl, you got your... Oh, man, you got your boyfriend. Guess what? Oh. Oh, poor dude. Oh, man. Oh, man. I think I'm bleeding a lot. Girl, do something! What are you doing? <laughs> I am not going to leave him. <gasps> what the heck? I swear, if the cop shows up now, he knows something. Or he's in on it. <clears throat> Come on, come on, come on. No! Did he just slide down or? I knew it! Oh my god! Does this look like the goddamn Harbinger Motel to you! <laughs> every little movement, every little thing you Did he shoot Max? Is it or the creature? That commands my heart to love you. Every I don't think he killed Laura, right? He, he probably tranquilized her. What? <laughs> Oh, Laura! Look what you did! Look at that full moon! Oh my gosh, that's huge! So the campy vibes kind of fits the whole werewolf theme, <laughs> I think. Wow. Oh man, poor Max.
Hello, my friend. Welcome to the show. Oh, a fortune teller. We're friends, aren't we? I don't know about I've that. I've waited for you. I've waited. Yes. So I do hope our time together proves enlightening. There's no need to worry. I'm here to help you. Think of me as your guide into the unknown. It's exciting, yes, and <laughs> terrifying. But if you're brave enough, if you let me help you, I can help you. We can help each other. This is the card you found. The fool. I wonder who this is. We all know a fool when we see one, don't we? Innocence and freedom. Or recklessness and risk-taking. Spontaneity. Actions without thought, but the consequences to match. Think. Think, and don't get burnt. The fool was definitely Laura in this situation. <laughs> I can show you more if you'd like me to. Oh. Would she show me like a little uh, premonition in her in her crystal ball? Okay, I'm gonna choose to move on because I don't really want to see any anything. So that I don't get influenced. I don't want my decisions to be influenced. But I also don't want any spoilers. If it has any. Um, and then I also don't trust her. Kind of weird. <laughs> so I'm going to move on. No. Shame. Though I suppose it's your decision to make. And really that's the whole point, isn't it? Oh, wait! Isn't she the... the ghost lady in the forest? And then the car? There are secrets out there, you know. Secrets and lies. Paths to uncover. On which I can shed light. If you let me. Help me help you. And remember, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Got it. Right? She's the she's the old grandma. <laughs> and that was in the forest. Hi kids Cory forever. I love this. <laughs> this is totally my kind of vibe. Nature. The sun shining. The happy-go-lucky music. August. Yeah, hack it's quarry forever. <laughs> oh, this is after after the summer ends. You know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. Romance apocalypse. Uh yeah, didn't Max and Laura make their way to Hackett's Quarry like in June? Or something? Was it May or June? Oh. They'll get over it. You never know. Let's be reflective. Well, I mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of uh, working these things out. Mm -hmm. The universe? Yeah, like the, uh, the cosmic space <laughs> gods. Space gods. Space gods. <laughs> Okay, spell it. Nothing to spell. You know, we're cool. 
Oh, so cool. We are super cool. So she dumped her ass, huh? <laughs> Ooh. Hi, Emma. Hey. <laughs> oh, her? <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will ya? I guess I'm a yes, nerd. Boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. You're a bad person. <laughs> um... So, I'm curious. Does this have to do with, like, Ghosts? Or werewolves? Jake, bags, focus. Got it. Got it. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. What is this? I wonder what's killing the deer. Notice the hunters. Deer hunting canceled this year due to increased deer mortality. Hunting notice, uh, a notice that indicates the local deer population has decreased in recent years. Hunting season has been suspended until the numbers start to rise again. And why is that? Because there are werewolves out there eating them. <laughs> I swear it is. It's werewolves. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Not in the mood sign. Not in the mood sign. Why is that phrase so important? Oh, okay. So, if it is werewolves, uh, when you get bit by a werewolf, you don't die, but you do become one, so that makes you stronger. Is that what it means? Oh, and I wonder if the cop didn't shoot Max because he's been bitten. I wonder if he becomes a werewolf. I don't know. Oh, is that the truck from last time? Okay, so... What was I going to say? I was going to say something. I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully it'll come to me because I can't... I can't remember what I was going to say. What is this? Oh, hey. This is Emma's. What is that? Oh, camp. Camp cabins. Campers bunk together in the camp cabins. Camp cabins. Supervised by our team of helpful counselors. The large tree that stands tall in the middle of the cabin symbolizes the growth of all our campers at Hackett's Quarry and their journey into blossoming Hacketeers. Oh man, guys, I used to do Girl Scouts. It's bringing back memories. Oh, this popped up. Love at first fright. Journey through all the twists and turns of young love and discover just how much a relationship can endure. Laura tried to help Max after he was attacked in the storm shelter. Wait, there's something else? Oh, keepsakes. Cherish or perish. A cherished keepsake worth dying for. Experience the power of nostalgia and might just help you survive. Hopefully, it won't end up as something to remember you by. Jacob picked up Emma's silver bracelet. Yep. <laughs> it has to be. Uh, because doesn't silver kill werewolves? Hmm. 
Okay. What? Huh? Oh! Fuck! Oh! Ah, fuck you, you spider fuck! <laughs> Ew. Squash? I'm not gonna do that, it's in nature! Just let it go! Yee. Yeah, you better run. You tell him, Jacob. You tell him. Oh, I see... I see someone there. I love the music. <laughs> the guitar. Hello! <clears throat> hey! What are you, uh, what are you listening to? <laughs> Good to know. I was kind of like that in high school. <laughs> I was, I was always to myself. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's. it's I gotta it, get the last bags in there. Come on. With this thing, it's just. Dylan, frozen. please. Hi, <laughs> bud. <laughs> cool. Thanks, guys. <laughs> What's wrong with this thing? It's just closing. <laughs> Dipshit's bolted it. Really? For real? Wait, aren't the bags inside? <gasps> Couldn't they have locked it after I got the bags? Jeez. And I see them. No. General store? Oh, cool. It's kind of like at national parks. They have the general stores. They have the, uh, um, oh, I already saw that. They have, uh, merchandise store or the souvenir store. And they have the lodges, campgrounds. Heck, it's quarry. Camp Black. Heck, it's quarry sim, uh, summer camp was established way back in 1953 and it's still going strong today, nearly 70 years on. Mm hmm. Wow, look at that view. Man, would want to leave a place like this. It's like a goddamn Bob Ross. <laughs> Bob Ross. Yes. Is that happy clouds? It's so pretty. I I'm supposed. I gotta climb through the window. Wait, why? Why do they block off? That part, I wonder. Okay. Oh, skill. <laughs> skill. Skill. Oh, the mug in the book is still there. Ugh. Horror. I hate horror. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, Jacob. <laughs> but, uh, you, my friend, are in for something exciting. That was a bit of foreshadow, wasn't it? Right. 
right. Oh, where to start? Let's start here. That's where the food is. Keep out, counselors only. Oh, here's another character. Okay, really, dude? Locking me out? Okay, in my defense, A, it was Dylan's idea, and two, it was really funny. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right. Is that is that right? I don't write the rules, man. Okay, whatever. Look, are you gonna help me with the bags or what? Nah, I gotta stay here and wait for Mr. H to return our cell phone. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Okay, and why are the stairs blocked? Well, apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place. Uh, Mr. H's words, not mine. Oh! Boring! <laughs> ah, so we have an Aussie. An Aussie character. Can I go in here? It's like a void. Black hole. Holy cow. Okay. <laughs> Is that you, Dylan? I can only deal with one shit at a time, Jacob. <laughs> Is that because he's in the bathroom? <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, hold on. Dylan. Uh, Jacob. Nick. Ryan is a loner. Caitlin. We haven't met Emma. Abigail. Emma and Abigail we have not met yet. Okay. Uh, it might take me a, a bit of time to learn their names. <laughs> Oh, look at the lighting. That looks so nice. Oh! <gasps> Hold up! Hold up! Is this a double-sided... ...fireplace? Yo! I pointed this out in Until Dawn as well. And this place needs a serious overhaul. Oh. Jesus. Man, I'm so jealous. It's so nice. <laughs> it's so nice. Okay, there there's nothing on any of these, are there? No. Okay. Wait, is there? No. Oh, those are the bags? Okay, hold on. Before I go there, I want to finish looking around. Welcome to Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. Oh, the birds chirping. Oh my gosh, the sounds of nature. I love it. Nice. Okay, awesome. Oh, temperance! Oh, so we're not collecting them in order. 
Apologies for the chickens. They're they're making a ton of noise right now. <laughs> um, we're not collecting the uh, tarot cards in order. Temperance. Should I attempt to read it like the the lady? <laughs> Temperance to be balanced, to consume in moderation, or to indulge in excess. Temperance, take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes with temperance comes deferred gratification. Yeah, I know, I did horribly. <laughs> uh, take it or leave it. Actions without thought, but the consequences to match. <laughs> Man, that's a bad place to get stuck. Oh, that's the freezer? <gasps> Yo, Jacob with all the foreshadowing. So that means someone's gonna get stuck in there later. Okay, so I think that's it. Guess we can get the bags. All right, got the bags. Great, all by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. You don't need okay, to be mean to be honest. about you and Emma, are you, son? Mind your own business. Let's be playful. Oh, okay. So now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just got to take, Jake. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry. I just got so distracted about that rhyme. I forgot what we oh, were. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, you, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? Oh. She has a crush on... wait... Ryan? Was that the one that... yeah, okay. He's... he was the one in his own world. So... Jacob has a thing for Emma. And Caitlyn has a thing for Ryan. Got it. Sexy, huh? Sexy, huh? Ah, oh, sexy, huh? <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, look, it was all settled by the girls in bunk seven, like second day of camp. It goes Ryan, me of course, then Dylan, Emma, Abby. Okay. Nick, and then Mr. H. And... Okay, are you almost finished, please? Yep, that's it. That's everyone. Yeah. <laughs> He wasn't even on the list. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't, okay. Her whole thing is like, how are we gonna make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, <laughs> Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, Jacob. Do not pass go. Man, she just got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? Blah, 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 blah. It's just a fling. Maybe I like it. I like that one. Okay, okay, you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe she does have, like, this superpower over me, but you know what? Maybe I like it. <laughs> oh, likes it. Check. Totally not in denial. Oh, Check. Okay. Wow, the, um, the fumes of, of jealousy are just stifling over <laughs> Excuse here. Excuse me? I'm just saying, I guess some girls don't have what it takes to hang with the big dog. The big you're dog? You're a charmer, you know that? A big dog. I feel like that that struck a chord with her. He seems like the confident type. That's right. Because I could charm the pants off a snake. That's maybe the dumbest thing you've ever said. <laughs> no, no, I've definitely said dumber. <laughs> yep. 
Okay, so are we sure okay. that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> Uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was, like, a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? No, Jacob. Well, you no. Probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Why would okay, you tell him? What does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Why would you tell him? Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Ah. Uh, Chicks made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. That's why he wants to sabotage the van. We just have to find out. <sighs> no. Why, Jacob? Why? <laughs> why? <laughs> it's probably our only way out of here. Break the fuel line? Wow, that would totally wreck the car. <laughs> oh, Jacob, you're crazy. I'm just gonna steal the rotor arm. Because at least that won't completely destroy the car, right? The van? All because he wants to stay another night with Emma. <laughs> That means that everything that happens in this game is because of him. Yo. Hey, Yo. Enjoy it back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. Oh my gosh. Up here, my dudes. Up here, my dudes. Like up to something. Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D don't, don't. Go long. Oh, Nick. Nick is his name. Boom. Oh. oh. There it is. Oh, Ooh. man. Good sight. Ooh. Freak. Oh, oh. my gosh. <laughs> Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Oh. Freaks. <clears throat> I'm surrounded by freaks. <clears throat> oh, thank God. I'm going to get the whole new technology <laughs> thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is... Being dumped in emergency. Oh, Ben. He's so proud of that. <laughs> oh, Ben. Back off, dipshit. At least I got some. I like that combat. At least I got some. Uh, okay, well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, damn. Now we burn. Yeah, well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hookup. Okay, okay, okay let's all put our little dick bank at the show on the road, huh? <laughs> okay. Where's everybody else? Why? Why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't. I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any cheeky ones. Okay, yeah, keep dreaming, Junior. Hmm. <laughs> Nick. So we had Caitlin, Jacob, Dylan, Nick, and Ryan. Abigail. Okay, that's Abigail. And the other one is Emma. Oh, she's a fellow artist! Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Can you imagine if I failed that high oh five? Boy. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, obvious what we have to do here. 
Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Break in? Wouldn't we get in trouble <laughs> if we do that? Uh-huh. How about... How about I leave the bags and we can wait for... What's his name? Mr. H? To give us a key? Yeah, I'll do that. Are you serious? That's called breaking and entering. No, that's called retrieving our lawfully owned possessions. Why don't we just find Mr. Hackett and have him open it back up? Exactly! <laughs> on, our stuff is like three feet away. Mm, sorry. No. As soon as we get back to the lodge, we'll find Mr. Hackett and have him help us get our bags. Fine. I'm off. I like her okay, shirt. Well, well, fine. I'm just gonna do a quick sweep then to make sure we didn't forget anything. Knock yourself out. <laughs> Ashley thinks you're overreacting. I guess. <laughs> I like her shirt. I have a necklace just like that. With the moth and the and the moon. Let's check out here first. Oh look at the crow. Hello, Crow. Hey! You stopped <laughs> that! <laughs> oh. Well, I don't think it was doing that much damage. <sighs> it's gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcement. Morning announcements. Oh! Ooh, as a face. It's interesting because when I used to be in uh, Girl Scouts, uh, the way to wake everyone up was like getting a pan and slamming it. <laughs> Like, knocking on a pan around camp. It's annoying. I didn't like it at all. <laughs> because... Not only do I have insomnia, but I'm also a light sleeper. So I would never have a good night's sleep. And then having to wake up around... Like, five or six with that... Slamming of the pots and pans... Uh, man, I feel like I need to check all of these cabins. <laughs> just in case. Just in case there's something. Oh. Dylan is not going to be happy that the kids just left this year. <laughs> camp song recording. A recording of the Hackett's Quarry camp song from years gone by. Technology may have moved on, but the song remains unchanged. It kind of sounds like the song for, um... The tutorials. <laughs> I'll tell Chris about it when we see him. Wait, who's Chris? Yeah, see, I like the music. Okay, I'm gonna check. Okay, since it's not glowing, blue, I don't think I need to enter. Okay. Should I check here?
evidence tutorial. Everyone likes a scavenger hunt, and at Hackett's Quarry, that's no different. There are secrets in these woods, fun secrets that should you uncover them, could help protect you from criminal prosecution. <laughs> this is so cute. After all, the stories you'll take with you are only stories without the proof to back them up. So it's time to dive into the mystery, take pictures, or find pieces of evidence, and you may just prove your innocence. Or not. What? <laughs> That's funny. Ouch. Let's hope Jacob hasn't seen this. I didn't even see what it said on it. <sighs> empty vial. An empty vial with an unpleasant odor. Why would you sniff it? Is it Dylan's? Ugh. Jacob and Emma forever. Oh no, for summer. <laughs> it was short lived. Uh. Go in here. No. Okay. Oh, there she is. Um, should I, uh, oh. Information signpost. Though this is a novelty signpost, it also acts as a chilling reminder that Hackett's Quarry really is a long way from anywhere. Mm hmm. Let me just check these cabins really quickly. Okay. Okay. There was nothing for any of those. Um, before I go to her, let me check around here. Oh, the music stopped. Why? I really liked it. <laughs> Yeah, for those of you that are new, um, I am one of those players that likes to look around for uh, clues and collectibles, so I do spend a lot of time exploring for things. I don't think anyone knocked Caitlyn out of first place all summer. Hmm... I wonder if I should have... I wonder if I should have broken in instead to get the bags. Because if there were any clues in there... Man... Man, I should have followed <laughs> Emma. Ready to roll? Yes! Let's go! Let's do it! Let's do it. Finally. Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. Confident. <laughs> it's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? 
I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Nick? Done. Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, nice shoot and text. Like being a dud, kind of like you and Jacob. It's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. Huh. But that's us. He don't like I mean, it though. Could be different. When do you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Old school. What's wrong with email? So do they- I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. So do they- Oh, hold on. All just have crushes on each other? Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Yes, scenic route. Ooh, always gotta do scenic route. Yeah. Sure, what's the victory? Two months, no technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. Her subs need her? How could I live without you? Let's be supportive. Supportive friend. You know what? I actually believe you. Abby, was that a compliment? Your charm is infectious, what can I say? <laughs> I'd subscribe. <laughs> you better. As soon as you get home, sub, share, smash that like button. The holy trinity. Sub, share, yeah, no, really smash right. that like button. No, you love me. <laughs> oh, so she's an influencer. They're so different. My favorite spot? They're dynamic. The fire pit? The island. They compliment each Not other, don't they? Right? Is is that smoke? Should we tell someone? Hmm. It looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mister H burning some stuff before you know he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should we should probably you know get back. Oh yeah, worried Nick's you know. Gonna leave without you? Well, no, they're probably like all waiting for us. Mm hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick, waiting for you. All, everyone, same. Is that? Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a. Hold on. Is that Laura? Do you think she's like, uh, tied up and like still drugged up for the whole summer? Did the- did the cop keep her hostage? Okay. A fool's errand. Stupid is as stupid dies. Playing the fool has both vices and virtues, but all decisions lead to consequences. And if ignorance is bliss, what does that make foolishness? Jacob removed the <laughs> rotor arm from the minivan. Playing the fool, ah, uh, Jacob, down the rabbit hole. I want to play a game, something toys with you, but perhaps you can turn the tables by following a path unknown. Remember, findings, uh, findings that seem insignificant could well be your last hope of survival. Abby chose not to help Emma break into the cabin. Oh. 
The cabinet remained locked and couldn't be explored. Aw, oh, darn it. I guess I should have. Are you saying that there was something there that could have helped me? Aw, oh, man. Yeah, so... Because the visual, from that point of view, it looked like someone was losing consciousness. So I wonder if, uh... Laura is still held hostage or locked up, and she's still being drugged. Full tank of gas, so... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. <laughs> It's okay, I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go and... Uh, you. <sighs> hey, Nick! Hey, where were you guys? Ah! What would you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go! Where are your bags? Mr. H locked them in the cabin already. Why? To keep out bears? Apparently. Uh. Ah. <gasps> uh. I was trying to be a good person by not breaking in. Please don't make me feel worse. <laughs> Let's be sarcastic. He seems like the sarcastic yeah, type anyways. Yeah, bad news, especially if you've been, you know, trying out their variably heated oatmeals. I really don't think there are any bears. I tried to get the bags, but someone was all, wouldn't that make us criminals who deserve to be in jail? You're paraphrasing, but yes, it would. <laughs> mm, I don't think Mr. H would have been too happy to see his cabins vandalized. Exactly! Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Has anyone seen Ryan? I am very much like Abigail. He's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. Mysterious and alluring? What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. So she has a crush on him, right? Oh. Podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? Protective? Wait, why would he be protective? Let's be friendly. Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about you? Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. <laughs> oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. This episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. Ooh! The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. <laughs> I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's uh, Quarry. Oh, can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's my it's kind of podcast. A campfire story for the kids. It's, um, they're supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something. I don't know, it's never really been clear. Anyways. Haga Haggett's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. Defensive? But why would he be defensive? Wow, so that's interesting. The woman in the woods. So she died in a fire. I'm assuming the fortune teller that we see at the end of the prologue is the same woman. So she is a ghost. 
Ooh, she's not real. So if she catches you alone, she tries to turn you into her son? Is that what he said? Ooh, I'm intrigued. Uh... I'll be supportive. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time he told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for <laughs> life. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. <laughs> it's the holdup, Hacketeers. Yeah, I'm nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. Ah, oh, dude, Get those our bucks cat. Get Could have those... what if our bags weren't locked up? What's that? Sounded like you said, of course, Mr. H. We're on it, Mr. H. Sorry, Mr. Hackett, but our, our bags... Right. Cabin. <laughs> We're really busting our butts here. Well, except Ryan, who's trying to scare the pants off our butts with his weird ghost stories. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Enough with all the butts. Butts. Uh, and what's this about the, ghost stories? Each of H's Q. The half of <laughs> Hackett's quarry. I was just... Each of H's Q. <sighs> For Pete's sake, Ryan. Hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Mr. Hackett. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dillon? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. DJ Dylan. No worries. Cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. Huh, interesting. Okay. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh oh, I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the. Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Hello. I kind of want to eavesdrop. I want to know. <laughs> what? Because kids are kids. There only be so much for both. They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have... Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's A-OK -okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know it, I know it. No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Probably staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah, of course. Adios. Sorry, I, I wasn't... I wasn't listening. I, I was just, like... Got waiting. yourself caught. I mean, I heard... I, I mean, I, was, I didn't hear what you were... Saying. We're cool, champ. Just come on in. Sorry I pushed you out like that. So it's imperative that they leave tonight. Well, too bad because Jacob he, uh, you stole the rotor arm. Looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy. You know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know... Whether or not I should like leave my sister with my grandparents since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, right? Dang it. Um. Is everything okay? Is 
everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> Ryan, I told you to make sure everyone was ready. What happened? They don't really listen to me. Then you gotta make them listen, bud. I can't. Uh, I mean... Shoot, no time to get their bags now. For real? I don't think the girls are gonna like that. We'll ship them along in a few days. So, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, with these terrified kids that they send home? The ghost stories? <laughs> I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. <laughs> so, maybe just... Ease up on the ghost stories. The kids are weak. <gasps> oh gosh. I can't see him being indifferent. I'm going to be apologetic. Sorry. I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Got to understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. Noted. Big part of being <laughs> a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? Kumbaya, my... You guys don't do kumbaya anymore? What? <laughs> Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. What? What's that? Oh my gosh. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Is it a... Is it a full moon tonight? Why? Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. That's not it. Just give me a minute. Suspicious. Where in the good goddamn are they? Ooh, I swear if it's a full moon. <laughs> then he knows. Would he know? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off-season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short-staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. Because the other two didn't show up. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Max and Laura. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Uh-huh. Right where I left them. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. He has to know, right? Because... That creature that attacked Max was locked up in his storm cellar. Ooh. Make sure they're all ready to go. I gotta know. For real this time. Sorry to break it, break it to you, Mr. H, but the car is Wait, not gonna how work. Did you get your phone back before the rest of us. I never turned it in. Van. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. Them's the rules, you noob. Oh no. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Oh no. Move it, let's go. Hey, what about our bags? Uh, Emma, I'm going to have to ship them to you tomorrow. Hell no, thing. no, I am not leaving without. It's the way it's got to be. Come on, Jacob, start her up. Sorry, Emma. What's the problem? Ugh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. Ah, uh, Jacob. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right, it's busted. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough, enough, both of you. Not cool, Jacob. Shit. Come on, right, come dude, on. Chill. 
Chill, Let's go. dude. Damn it! I thought I told you kids to check everything. No, we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? I mean, she should kind of know because she did tell Jacob what to do. <laughs> I don't know why she's surprised. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Okay. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Wow, man. Mm. Jacob doesn't even see how serious it is with how... Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. Mr. Hackett is acting. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? What? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll What? Do that? Wait, why is he leaving? Wait, why is he leaving them? Alone? Um... Mm, okay, I'll be compliant. Yeah... Sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Wait, what? Why couldn't he Lock tell... And for God's sake, keep the noise down! Why couldn't he tell that to everyone, as a group? Wouldn't it have been a good idea to tell everyone? Because then they would see how serious it is? So... What was that about? He, uh... Said to stay inside. That we're not leaving until the morning. Are... You kidding me? Um... Are you kidding me? Oh gosh, he's, to do? he's so excited. Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or, or we could do something else. Mm. Mm, not a good idea. Let's be insistent. No, no. No, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned Party. for us. Huh? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Um... What? Oh, dude. Fuck yes. I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in. Of course. Obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. I would probably <laughs> yeah, I would probably be in the mino minority. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. <laughs> it was just that would be me. <laughs> you know, like, um... Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? Yeah, exactly. Um, I was just thinking, couldn't Mr. Hackett have taken them in his truck somewhere? Why did he have to leave them? Uh... So he was just concerned for us. Am I being supportive to what Abby said? Because that's what I'm thinking. Because I don't think he was... 
well, was he scared? He was, he did seem freaked out, but I wonder if he was freaked out for us. Okay, I'm gonna be supportive. I'm sure he's just looking out for us. No big deal. All right, yeah. No, I, I didn't mean. <gasps> High five, touch my hand, Ryan. <laughs> touch my hand, Ryan. Uh, that's not, uh, that's not really what I meant. Mm. Okay, fine, I'm already outnumbered. <laughs> fine. Yes. Yes. I just want to go on record and say that the group this is, impressed. is a bad idea. God, dude. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> It's gonna be fine, man. Trust me. It's gonna be chill. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers, party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, okay. First things first. Nick and Abby, you will get some firewood. Uh, Emma and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just—I don't know—figure out how to charge the phones or something. All right, let's do this. Oh man. Is that the cop? Yo. Are they doing that to mask their scent? <laughs> wow. Hunting season. Would they be hunting werewolves? I'm sticking to it. It's werewolves. And they're probably using, like, wolf's blood or something to mask their scent. I was scent. hoping you'd come back to me. Hello? Let's see what you've found. Hag of Hackett's quarry. Temperance. <laughs> to be balanced. To consume in moderation. Or to indulge in excess. Temperance. Take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes with temperance comes deferred gratification. Oh, so she just says whatever. There's more I can show you if you like. She just repeats whatever was written for the cards. No, thank you. I don't trust you. <laughs> Fine. Fine. <laughs> You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. The moon is bright. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. Was that another howl I heard? Ooh, the moon is bright. It's a full moon. <laughs> Truth or dare. Okay, I'm going to end it today. Camp store. We are proud to stock a range of treats and snacks for our campers to enjoy during their stay at Hackett's Quarry. Not to mention the ingredients for our healthy meals prepared by our counselors in the lodge kitchen. Oh man, I remember when I was in Girl Scouts, I used to help around in the kitchen <laughs> preparing food. Uh, 
The minivan failed to start so the counselors couldn't leave Hackett's quarry. I have a few thoughts or questions. Okay, so as I said throughout the video, uh, I did name the reasons why I think this has to do with werewolves. Uh, I'm going to assume that Max and Laura are both alive just because after playing Until Dawn, if you don't see the character die on screen, then most likely they're still alive. So we didn't really see him shooting Max, so I'm assuming he shot the creature. And if this is werewolves, then most likely Max is going to become a werewolf. I think that's what the whole what doesn't kill you will make you stronger because you do become a strong creature <laughs> when you're bitten and you don't die. Um, the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Yes, so she's dead. She died in a fire. That has to be her in the woods, in the car at the beginning, and also her that we see after each chapter so far. So if she's dead, I wonder if she's sort of trying to influence us. That's why she always she always wants to show us something like a premonition with each card. But I don't think we can trust her. Mr. H, Chris Hackett. So he was supposed to get them all off of the campgrounds that night. So he definitely knows about the creatures and also the the one I'm guessing it was Ian that attacked Max, it was locked up at his lodge. So he definitely knows something. And he was kind of freaked out that these kids could not leave that night. So if it is a full moon, it's kind of weird though that he left them alone. <laughs> if he knows what's going to happen. Because he could have easily taking them in his truck and, I don't know, drop them off at, a, at the motel, right? Harbinger Motel. Now, the cop, I wonder if he was trying to help both Laura and Max at the beginning because he did warn them not to go to Hackett's Quarry. And I guess he knew they weren't going to listen to him. But, uh, I don't know. It was just kind of weird how he came off as, uh, uh very off-putting. Like, you don't feel like you can trust him. Like, he's this creepy cop <laughs> uh, that's trying to steer you away. Also, like, he seemed like he was interrogating us, right? We didn't do anything wrong. And he didn't trust us. He was anxious. He was pretty aggressive as well. So it was hard to trust him. So we also didn't think that he was out to help us. But it seems like he, but oh, wait, hold on. If he tranquilized Laura, does he still have her hostage? Because I remember that shot after playing as Abigail with Emma. We did get that point of view of someone that looks like they are going in and out of consciousness. So I wonder if Laura is locked up. But if so, why would he do that if he was trying to help them? Why not? Well, I guess if he let her go, she would probably tell someone. Uh, and also those two guys at the end, the two hunters. I'm trying to figure out who Mr. Hackett was on the phone with. But yeah, the two the two hunters, it seems like they slather themselves with blood in order to 
mask their scent. So if they are hunting, and if this whole thing has to do with werewolves, that has to be werewolf blood. So they're probably hunting werewolves, and I guess seeing that the kids are still at the camp, I don't know. I guess they have to keep a watch on them. Yeah, I think, I think so far those are my thoughts. Which I've already talked about throughout the video, but this is all <laughs> packaged into the outro. <laughs> I do feel that I probably should have broken into the cabin to grab the bags because there could have been either clues in there or I don't know. Maybe there was something in there that could help us later on because there was uh, the thing about paths down the rabbit hole. It says something toys with you, but perhaps you can turn the tables by following a path unknown. Remember, remember, findings that seem insignificant could well be your last hope of survival. So, I wonder if there was something in there that could have helped me later on. I'm curious how the Hag of ha Hackett's Quarry, the Hag of Hackett's Quarry, I wonder how she ties into everything because it's really interesting. We're dealing with a ghost, a spirit, but we're also dealing with what I assume are werewolves. And I wonder if this has anything, if this has any effect on the story. Because so far, it's just used at the end of each chapter with the woman. So I wonder if it matters that I find these. All right, guys, I'm going to end the video here. Uh, if you are new to my channel and haven't watched my Until Dawn playthrough, I do tend to come up with a ton of theories while playing these sort of games. Um, games where I find clues and piece together the story. Uh, so I will be sharing a lot of that <laughs> uh, with you guys. Usually in my intros and outros and throughout the video. So far, I don't dislike the characters as much as I did with Until Dawn. <laughs> um, some of them are not that bad. Uh, others still haven't really gotten a grasp on who they are. But I do enjoy Dylan because he's funny. And Abigail, I guess. I feel like I'm very much like her. <laughs> uh, I did like Jacob at the beginning, but he... Uh, he's done some, like, stupid things. Not not cool. Not cool. So he's kind of eh for me. <laughs> I really feel bad for Max. I liked him. I uh, was kind of annoyed with Laura. <laughs> because... You know, just, you could see the difference between how Max talks to her compared to how she talks to him. Whenever he raised his voice, he always uh, apologized. And, you know, try to be very calm and patient with her. She did not do the same for him. And she did get them in deep shit. <laughs> so... I don't know. So far, things are good. It's very interesting how at the camp with the counselors, uh, you know, just the energy, the, the music playing in the background and just how lively the scenery is uh, in nature. The sun is shining. You would not expect this to turn into a horror game. <laughs> so I thought that was funny. But, yeah, so far, just very, very intrigued with some of these characters and, you know, how much they know about what's going on and what, how they're involved. Mostly the cop, uh, Mr. Hackett, and those two guys that we saw at the end. Um, and of course, the Hag of Hackett's quarry is just interesting. I wonder what she's all about just because um 
Ryan did say from listening to the podcast, which by the way, I am all about paranormal podcasts. Uh, one of my favorite horror genres is paranormal and supernatural horror. So yes, that is cool. Um, but yeah, he said that if the Hag of Hackett's Quarry uh, finds you alone in the woods, that she tries to turn you into her son. But she has to be part of the sideshow because she's a fortune teller. And she did say, welcome to the show or something like that when we were introduced to her. There was also that, oh, was there a fire at the uh, sideshow? Because I remember seeing, was it our first clue in the woods? The poster for Harem Scarum, it did say that the the edges of that poster was burnt. He died in the fire. I don't know. I need more information. But my the gears in my brain is working. <laughs> Trying to figure this out. So yes, as you can see, I really enjoy like theorizing and figuring out, coming up with stuff. <laughs> Trying to figure out the story. That's my favorite thing to do. But yes, I hope you guys enjoy today's video. I am really looking forward to uh, like some of the juicier horror aspects into the game and really looking forward to seeing the choices I'll be making and what outcome I'm going to get. So I guess just to let you guys know, I'm not going to be trying too hard to keep everyone alive like I was with until dawn. I'm just going to chill out, enjoy the ride. <laughs> if anyone dies, that is okay. But yes, I don't want to make it a big deal to try and keep everyone alive. Because that's going to stress the hell out of me. <laughs> but yes i'm really looking forward to next episode so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i'll catch you guys next time bye